and we can play the game just by tapping on the dinosaur. Hey what's up guys, Techno Review here. In this video I'll show you the top 10 best Android hacks for 2017. So by the end of this video, I promise you to make your Android experience much better. So with that being said, let's get started. So at first I'll show you how to play any portrait only application or game in landscape mode. So with the help of an application called Ultimate Rotation Control, we can change the orientation of any portrait only application or game to landscape mode. So here you can see we have installed Subway Surfer. So I'll quickly get into Subway Surfer. And once we are in the game, just tap on this and we are playing the game. And now to get into the landscape view of this game, we just need to get into the notification center. And from here, you can see the application is running on the background. So now we'll tap on the middle button over here. And now just rotate the screen. And there you can see we are in the landscape view of Subway Surfer. Now tap resume. And there you can see with the help of this, we can get into the landscape mode of any game or application. Now we all have private stuffs on our Android phones and to keep it hidden we always tend to download applications from the Play Store with which we can hide files and folders but today I will show you a way with which you will be able to hide files without downloading any applications from the Play Store. So just by getting into the default file manager which comes with your phone so get into the file manager and get in the storage section and over here if I want to hide a particular folder let's say I want to hide the folder pictures so in order to hide the folder pictures we just need to tap and hold the folder and over here you get a more button from here tap on rename and just enter a dot or a full stop before the folder name tap on ok and it will show like this the file will be hidden tap on ok and there you can see the folder has got hidden from the file manager and if the hidden folder has got photos or anything else then the files will also get hidden from the gallery of your device so now in order to get back the folder just tap on the three dots and show hidden files and there you can see we have got dot pictures so just tap and hold this one rename it and remove the dot from the front of the folder name tap on ok you'll get back the folder on your device. Nowadays, every Android phone comes with Google Chrome browser installed as it's the default browser of Google. So now we'll talk about some Chrome tricks which you can try on your Android phone. If you have multiple tabs opened on Chrome and when you're trying to switch between tabs, we generally press the tabs button over here and from here we can switch between the tabs. But now I'll show you a much easier way on switching between the tabs. So just slide your finger either left or right over the address bar. And this way you can switch between currently open tabs. When our internet is down and we can't browse the internet, we get a dinosaur here on our screen. But we never thought why Google gave this dinosaur here. Guys, it basically not just a dinosaur, it's a game which is inbuilt in Chrome and we can play the game just by tapping on the dinosaur and we need to tap to jump the dinosaur over the trees over here. Trust me guys, once the dinosaur runs faster, it becomes damn tough to control this baby. From the Chrome browser, we can even access the internal storage of our device. Just enter this on the address bar. And there you can see we are in the internal storage of our device. And from here, you can basically play any video or view any photo right inside the Chrome web browser. Now, it's time to study as we are here with this awesome application which lets you calculate any mathematical equation which is there on your notebook. So it basically scans the equation from your notebook and gives you the answer on your device. So I'll quickly open the application. So now I have a equation over here on my iPhone. There you can see we have an equation over here. So I'll scan this equation with the help of this application. So let's see whether it shows us the answer or not. So there you can see guys, on this phone we have got x equals to 5 by 2. So that's a really cool application and this is the best application which works just before your exams. Now in a hurry, if you want to charge your phone faster than what your phone actually takes, then before charging your phone, put it in airplane mode. 
so it basically switches off every radio connections making your phone charge 30% faster but make sure to change your sim card into some other phone as you might miss some important calls or text while charging your device now everyone doesn't have the latest android smartphones which sports a high end cpu or a gpu so for the slow android devices this trick will save your day by speeding up your android experience much faster than before so just by enabling developer options by tapping on the build number which you get on the about phone so for me it's miui version so i'll keep on tapping it for five times and here you can see you're now a developer so now i'll get back and get into additional settings and over here i'll get developer options but for you you'll get the developer options by tapping the build number on the about phone section five times and you'll get developer options enabled on the settings application so once you get developer options just get into this and scroll down all the way here you can see we have got here window animation scale transition animation scale animator duration scale so this gives you the option to change the transition speed and overall system animation speed which you can tweak a bit to make your phone respond much faster than before but make sure you don't put the slider all the way up as then it will give you a bit more of a choppy feeling which might not be that user friendly while traveling in a crowded bus or a train or maybe you are in a situation where you can't bring out your phone from your pocket for changing the track while listening to music on your headphones and you might not even have the inline controls on your headphones to change the track or stop the music then we can do that by installing this cool new application which is called Fringy Music Controller. So it basically gives us the options to assign tasks such as changing tracks, play, pause, music with volume button gestures. So when your phone is locked by pressing the down button gets into the previous track, pressing the up button gets into the next track and pressing the up down button will stop the music. We can also select this option which is wave control, the proximity sensor wave. Just by waving our hand over the proximity sensor changes the track to next or the previous track. So I'll quickly show you how it works. So now I'll press the down button, there you can see it gets into the next track, press the up button, it gets into the previous track and by repeatedly pressing the volume up or down buttons you can adjust the volume of the music and you can even try hand wave gestures on this cool application. Last but not the least it's just not an android specific hack but you can say this works with any smartphone. So when you are listening to music on your phone speaker, you might feel like the sound output is not that loud. Then while playing the music, I'll quickly play a music, keep your phone inside of a bowl. So for me, it's a glass bowl over here, so I'll keep it on this bowl. So by playing the music, Keep the phone inside of a bowl no matter it's a glass bowl or a ceramic one it amplifies the sound really well giving you a much louder sound output and those were the top 10 android hacks of 2017 now as i promised did i make your android experience better let me know by commenting down below in the comment section so guys that's all for this video and if you like this video then do hit the like button down below and also subscribe to our channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one